Hello guys and welcome back. Finally, I'm back with a new video. Yes, we have a new Townsman update coming very, very soon and we added a ton of new content for you guys to enjoy. So, first of all, we added three new scenarios. It's The Curse, Under Siege and Election Day. We also, well, overhauled how the decorations tab and the street building system works. We added a ton of new decorations, so you can now build up your towns and make them even more beautiful and awesome than they were before. Alright, now let's have a look at one of the new scenarios. We will check out Election Day. Alright, here we are. Welcome to Election Day. A very special scenario with a lot of choices. My lord, soon a new governor will be elected in this town. I recommend we start convincing the factions in this town to vote for you. I don't think we have enough time to convince all of them, so you should choose carefully who we should support. Okay, I think we can do that. So the main quest is to convince a minimum of three factions to win the election. Yes, there are a lot of factions in this scenario and we will decide later on which factions we want to support. But first, um, what does this guy want from us again? My lord, our economy cannot support the carpenter. We do not have the necessary resources. You should unassign the carpenter from his building for now. Okay, carpenter guy, where are you? Okay, I have to zoom out a bit. Now that's better, I have a better overview now. Carpenter, there he is. Unassign that guy, or deselect this guy, unassign the carpenter. Hey, and we did it. Here's our first reward and our first quest we solved. We do not produce enough food, my lord. It would be recommended to build some more fishermen's huts. Alright, we can do that. Let's build some fishermen's huts. Number one. And number two over here. And let's get rid of those trees so it looks better. Our oh, building is smoldering. Wow. Let's fix that quickly. Good. Now, where were we? Yeah, we are building some fishermen's huts. And I was talking about making it pretty so it looks better. And as I said in the introduction, we added a ton of new decorations. And in this corner over here, you can see a small selection of that. We have new fountains, we have like these little ponds, we have these ornaments, statues, new hedges, and ah, it's a lot of stuff. Basically, we now have something called like over categories so if I select um, this fountain for example our new decorations menu will come up you can now easily select on the fly all the different decorations you want to place on your map and yes you can by using the arrows navigate through it and then easily place it there's no need to close the menu and select a new decoration. Yes, and as you can see, it's quite a lot of new stuff. We can switch that around. New benches in all the different angles. What else do we got? This little ponds, little fountains, and of course new walls. So you can now if you want to build a fort or a bigger castle, uh, as it is like now on this map. Yeah, it's really cool. It can make your town even more beautiful than all your towns out there are. And you can have a lot of fun with that. And of course, um, we also adjusted how you can place some ways around or the streets in your town. It basically um, now works the same as the decorations tab. You can select the pavement or the normal street. You can 
pull around your arrows and then select where to build it. But we will not do that now because we need the money. Let's speed up the process a little. So until we can select our factions we want to support, we first have to do some basic quests. And yeah, I will just speed up the process a little so we don't waste a lot of time. My lord, you should decide which faction you want to support. After your choice, you should concentrate on fulfilling the faction's demands. Once convinced to vote in your favor, you can choose a different faction. Yes, nice. We are there. We did all the prerequisite quests. And now we can choose which one of the factions we want to support. Now, we can choose between the religious faction, the military faction, or the Friends of Flowers Club. Well, I think I will go with the Friends of the Flowers Club. Okay. No. Governor, I am the chairwoman of the Friends of Flowers Club. You saw you demand our support in the coming election. Why isn't a competent woman like myself elected for governor of a town like this? Okay, new quest avatars, as you can see. We added also some of those. And this is the wonderful and lovely chairwoman of the Friends of the Flowers Club. So... She doesn't think I'm a competent governor. Well, let's see if we can help her. What else does she want? This town is very bland. One can easily notice that you have no eye for detail and beauty. Why did you not come up with a plan to change this, Governor? Yes. Thanks, Granny. Alright, great. Now here we are again after this quick cut. We built two wells. We also built some hunter's cabins. And now... Despite my initial doubts in your competence as a governor, you actually proved to be a true friend to the Friends of Flowers Club. We will vote for you in the election. Woohoo! Complete all demands of the Friends of Flowers Club. Wonderful! So, we made it. This was the first faction we satisfied and they will now vote for us in the election. My lord, you should decide which faction you want to support. After your choice, you should concentrate on fulfilling the faction's demands. Once convinced to vote in your favor, you can choose a different faction. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so we can now choose the next faction we want to support. Hmm, what's interesting? Huh, let's visit the religious faction. Welcome, Governor. Us monks of the religious faction could support you in the upcoming election when you fulfill our demands. Okay, now the religious faction. A very friendly monk. Our religious community is constantly shrinking. The population spends their time drinking or partying. This has to end. That sinful tavern is to blame. You have to demolish it. Well, we got a new quest or, well, some more quests to do, but I will not do that. We will cut our video here. You guys should explore the new quests and the new factions in this scenario yourselves, because I don't want to spoil all the fun for you. Yes, this is it with the video. Have fun with all the new decorations and the new menu to place them. Enjoy, build up your towns again, and yeah, leave us a like or a comment on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, wherever you want. Show us your new towns with all the new decorations. Show us what you built and what you are really proud of. As always, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.